A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. The transaction search utility helps you locate transactions in a matter of seconds. There are numerous occasions when an accountant needs to search for a specific financial activity entered into a ledger. In this video, you will create a search utility to locate a transaction. To search for transactions, a criteria list is provided along with a search box. You select a value from the criteria list, for example, reference, then enter a value in the search box, suppose, 78345, and finally hit the search button. The utility searches for the provided value in the selected column and displays the matching records in an interactive report. This segment will be created manually using a blank page. Download source code from video description, open part 15 folder, you'll get the code for all text files used in the video. The LOV defined in the select list, P53 underscore criterion, has 8 options. Each option comprises two values, a display value and a return value. The value placed in the display position is shown to users. When the user selects a value, the return value is what actually gets returned to the program. This interactive report region will show all the searched records beneath the parameters region. 
It is based on a select query that joins multiple tables to provide complete information. The WHERE clause in this statement uses the value returned by the criterion SELECT LIST via the decode function. Note that chart of account title, voucher description, and voucher reference are character columns, so values in these columns are searched using the LIKE operator. This dynamic action enable a wildcard character percent, to be used to allow the searching of values in character columns. The true action fires when you select a criterion from the list. The dynamic action then places the text into the search box, p53 underscore search, to inform users. Which says put search string between these two percent symbols. The false action, in other words, when a numeric criterion is selected, makes the search box empty. The two parameter values, criterion and searched value, are then used in the WHERE clause to filter records in the SELECT statement. Invoke this page from the Utilities menu search transaction option, and execute the following steps to search a transaction that you recorded in the previous video. Once again, the same record appears on your screen, but this time it is fetched using numeric parameters. Once your data piles up in the database, the search transaction utility helps you dig out a financial event from the data mine. In the next video, you will create a segment that protects data from manipulation. Thank you for watching the video.